Hello, everyone. My name is Chu Huiwen. I'm a student of UPSI. I'm conducting my PhD research in ethnomusicology. My article is Performing the Cultural Identities of Contemporary Guqin Performers in Shijiazhuang, China. And the co-author of this article is my supervisor, Dr. Claire Xue Qingchen. The guqin is one of the most important instruments in Chinese culture, which has survived almost two millennia of unbroken history. It's a seven-stringed plucky zither that was played by the Chinese literati as a private activity for themselves or to a less extent for friends during ancient times in China. The guqin art has undergone three important shifts in ideology. One, over 2,000 years of feudalisms. Two, after ending the unrise of modern China, new China was established. Three, the reform and opening up policy of the late 1970s. The ideology changed from Confucianism to socialism to socialist modernization. Along with the change in ideology, the cultural identity of Guqin players is also changing. During the feudal period, playing the Guqin was considered a class art. And after the founding of New China, the, the art of Guqin was recognized as a mass art. Then, after the reform and opening up, China has entered the wave of globalization. Guqin was constructed in the national discourse as a public cultural property shared by members of all nations. During that time, Guqin was recognized as national culture to intangible culture heritage. There are three videos reflect the differences in the works played by Qin players from different era. The first video is an ancient piece named Flowing Water, um, performed by contemporary Guqin master Li Xiangting. It presents the traditional literary consciousness. The second video features a piece translated from a classical Beijing opera, Zhu Lian Zhai, which is able to reflect the purpose of the Guqin to serve the public at that time. The third video is the Guqin performance in the opening ceremony of the 2008 Olympic Games, combining traditional Chinese culture to showcase the China's culture to the world. Since 博大厚重、意蕴悠远的中国故事，全世界的朋友都会领略优雅的东方情韵，了解悠久的中国文化，感受中国的现代魅力。Research problem today: contemporary Guqin performers are creating new musical performance 
that represent their cultural identities in the context of modernization and globalization and under the influence of new national culture policies. They are no longer representatives of a particular single cultural identity, but a pluralistic identity. Contrary to the literati performed privately to satisfy and acquire his mind, Today's early 21st century Guqin players who turn to outward performing the Guqin to impress their audience musically and visually. Some perform the virtuosic classical repertoire with complex musical techniques, accompanied by stylized body movements and gestures. They dress in Chinese traditional costumes to assert cultural essentialism. Others prefer to play contemporary popular tunes that are enjoyed by contemporary audience, dressed in modern fusion costumes to demonstrate their modern yet traditional identity. The rapid development of the cultural industry has made the Guqin art an object of cultural consumption for the people. The Guqin art has been packaged as a cultural commodity and is becoming more and more popular among the masses of consumers. Nowadays, many Guqin pieces have been created based on popular elements. Contemporary people are more interested in the works of pop songs translated from the Chinese style than Asian tunes. In this paper, I will examine the Guqin players' identity by analyzing their 1. musical style, techniques, and repertoire of the Guqin players, 2. choices of music repertoire, compositions and arrangements, 3 movement, gestures, and performative elements that accompany their playing. I will use the ethnographic method in deep research, interviews, and participant observation on the local Guqin training institution, Jin Yun Qin Zheng, in Shijiazhuang. In 2019, to spread the art of Guqin and promote the culture of Guqin to the public, Jin Yun Institution started a course on Guqin, which they called a public service class. I will take part in the public service classes of the institution, learning and interact with the players, and learn about the dissemination of the Guqin among the general public. I will interview Cao Lan Suo, the founder of the Guqin Public Service Class. I will also interview Guqin teachers and students who are studying in the Public Service Class and explore the development and changes of the cultural identity of the contemporary Guqin players. Okay, that's all. Thank you.